Hey, Rosie! Working at the same place. What are the odds, right? Seems like fate has a strange sense of humor. Huh? By the way, just so you know, I like to keep work and personal life separate. Huh? I mean, let's not try to be too chummy at work just because we're old pals. We're colleagues. Plain and simple. Huh? Just what the hell is wrong with you? Seriously, enough with those responses! If anyone should be confused here, it's me. I thought I told you not to reach out, yet here you are, telling me we're working together? What the hell is that? I'm so confused. No, oh, wait, don't tell me you didn't realize we were at the same orientation today. Wait, we are? I didn't notice at all. Oh, well, I was assigned as a temporary worker by a famous staffing agency. I wonder what kind of lame agency you came from. You were at the back of the room the whole time. And it looked like you had no idea what you were doing. Seriously, Megan? You're going to be working for Zen Vol. <laughs> yeah. My agency practically begged me to take this job. I'm a hot commodity, so my schedule is always packed. But my agency was desperate for someone capable, so here I am. Well, this is quite the twist, working with you. Just don't spend your day flirting and try to pull your weight. It's annoying when people can't carry their load. Where's this coming from? Weren't you flirting with the guy beside you the whole time? Ugh, it's like a dating show. Rosie, we're here to work, not find a date. I have no idea what you're talking about. Could it be you're feeling a bit desperate, considering how long it's been? What? I haven't been doing any of that. Stop making up stuff like that. Really? I thought you'd be on the hunt for a new guy since I took your fiancé. What? We have history. But I hope we can leave it behind and get along as adults and co-workers. Seriously? I haven't forgotten you for stealing Jake. To be honest, texting you is painful, and it's something I'd rather avoid. Ugh, you're still holding on to that after three years? We're old friends, it's time to move on. Just let it go. You gotta be kidding me. Ugh, I've paid my dues for what happened. It should be ancient history. Plus, Jake and I broke up. Isn't it time for you to forgive me? Why does your attitude seem unapologetic for what you did? <laughs> Why should I be sorry? I don't think I did anything wrong. It's not my fault he liked me more than you. What? You're really getting on my nerves. Just... Focus on your job so I don't end up taking it from you. I'm a capable temp worker, and if you're too busy flirting, you might find yourself unemployed, Rosie. Hey, boss. How's your day today? Hey, David. It wasn't too bad. What's up? I thought I would message you because I noticed some strange things at the induction program that we had today. There was this one person who kept on looking in your direction throughout the program. Do you have any idea who it might be? Ah, uh, that would probably be Rosie. We grew up together. We used to be pretty close, actually. Yes, I think that was her. She was staring at you the whole time. I guess you would notice her staring as well, then. Actually, I didn't notice at all at the time. She sent me a text a couple of hours ago, and that's when I found out. Although, the funny thing is, I think she is mistaking me for another one of the temps. Ah, I see. Sorry if this question is a little personal, but is she the childhood friend that you were talking about the other day? The one that stole your fiancé from you? Yep. What a coincidence, right? I really didn't expect her out of all people to come and work for us. Then... Would you want me to terminate her contract and find someone else to fill up her position? I can talk to her agency directly if you would like. They might even be able to send us a replacement straight away. Actually, could you wait a little bit before talking to her agency? I thought about terminating her contract straight away, but I think it's not right to bring personal matters to the workplace. I respect your decision either way, boss. Rosie's just a temporary worker and this is our workplace. I only happen to be at the induction today to take a look at the program. I don't think I'm going to be interacting with her very often on most days. I think for now, we should go ahead and hire her for the time being. Okay, sounds good. Oh, but keep an eye on her, just in case, would you? 
I have a strange feeling she's going to do something very stupid. Okay, boss. I'll make sure to keep an eye on her for the time being. I'll make sure to tell the Human Resources Department to keep an eye on her too. Just in case. Hey, Rosie. Oh, I can't believe you work here full time now. Why didn't you tell me? You lied. Megan, I never lied. I never claimed to be a temp. You assumed that. Besides, I don't have to tell you anything. Don't act so high and mighty just because you're a full-timer. <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought we were both temps, but I couldn't find your desk anywhere. Looked around, but no one would spill the beans on you. I didn't expect someone like you to be a full-timer. Whether you're a temp or a full-timer, we all work together here. Let's try to get along as co-workers. Now, I need to get back to work. Goodbye. Hey, don't you dare run away, you loser! What's your problem? You're just a lame loser who lost your fiancé to me. No way you're a full-timer and I'm just a temp. Do you think I'll let this slide? Wap positions with me now. You've got to be kidding. I was actually looking for a full-time job anyway. It's perfect timing. I'm a very capable temp and I'll have no trouble taking your spot. I'm going to be a full-time employee from today. No, that's not happening. Oh, trust me, it will. Our company has a policy where you can become a full-timer after a year if you prove yourself. I'm not waiting around for a year. Do you think you're a better worker than me? It's in the company's best interest to hire me full-time instead of you. I'm not so sure about that. You think being attractive determines your job position? There are more factors than looks. That's how the world works, Rosie. If you're beautiful like me, people are nicer and even help you with your work sometimes. Attractiveness doesn't define your work capabilities. And there's no way we're switching positions in this company. Stop saying foolish things and get back to work. Why should I listen to a fiancé jealous loser like you? When I tell you to do something, you have to do it. Give me your full-time spot. Now. If not, I'll take it just like I did with your ex. Lose your job on top of your fiancé? Do you want that? Megan, I've had enough. You know I can terminate your contract. I can't be fired by a temp, and I don't think you understand that. I doubt you can lecture me about company rules. I'll take what I want from someone like you, just like always. Stop acting cocky and leave the company now. This is my company, by the way. I'm the president. What? It's surprising you'd say that to your boss. You've got some nerve. Huh? <laughs> what? You're the boss? No way! Why didn't I know about this? I cut ties with you and I've told people not to mention anything about me to you. Really? So, are you leaving the company? Thanks for making my job easier. No, I, I didn't say I'm quitting. I'm not leaving. Fine by me. I'll order your contract termination myself. Oh, wait, please. What did you say? I'll always be a loser? Guess what? You're living off a paycheck from a company owned by that so-called loser. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. If you don't like me being your boss, leave now. I'll contact your agency to explain. I'm staying. I'm not quitting. All right. I'll have your contract terminated. Wait, please. Remember, as the boss, I make the calls. That's not fair. By the way, I'm not firing you because of the past. It's about your attitude and actions. My attitude? What's wrong with that? People here have complained about you forcing your tasks on others and spouting nonsense about becoming a full-timer. About that... We can't have people who disrupt the work environment. Please gather your belongings. Today is your last day. No, oh, please wait! Best of luck, and don't ever contact me again. Hey, boss. Megan's contract was officially terminated. She won't be working here after today. 
All the paperwork is done. Her replacement should be here tomorrow. Thanks, David. I'm lucky to have an efficient assistant like you. It's my job, boss. To be honest, I had a feeling she wouldn't last long here. Oh, gave you that impression. Well, you asked me to keep an eye on her, so I did. Her behavior was unprofessional, and she just didn't fit in here. So I had the paperwork ready for her termination. I heard she was causing some issues from HR, but it sounds like it was worse than expected. To be honest, she was a lot worse. Wow, what else happened? I'll give you the full scoop at lunch. Right now, I need to go to HR. I'll catch up with you later. Sounds good. Let's chat over lunch. Oh, and could you grab some pizza from that place down the street? I'm in the mood for extra olives today. Thanks. No problem, boss. Hey, Rosie. Hope you're doing okay. I just wanted to talk to you about something serious. I've been having a tough time, and I was wondering if there's a chance for me to get a full-time job at your company. I'm at work right now, Megan. I'm not in the mood for random messages. This is serious, Rosie. I need a job. I got dropped by my staffing agency, and I'm desperate. Can you please help me out? We've known each other since childhood, and I thought you might assist me. Odd. I thought that you were a very capable and popular worker. You're always so busy, and your work calendar is always full, isn't it? Well, things changed. I had some issues with the agency, and now I'm jobless. I can't afford to be without work. Can't you, as my friend, offer me a position in your company? I'm willing to make amends for our past issues and work hard. You see, Megan, it's not just about being friends. I can't hire someone who's shown a lack of professionalism. Please... I'm begging you. I'm sorry I said some offensive things to you during my time at your company. It's because I didn't know that you were the boss of the company. Rosie, you're a childhood friend that I'm very proud of. And I'll make sure to work very hard for you and your company. I'll make sure to work hard to repay you for all of the times I've hurt you in the past. And I'm so, so sorry for stealing Jake from you. I know that just saying sorry probably isn't going to mean too much to you. So, I want to prove how sorry I am for my actions. So, you're saying you'll work for my company to prove your sincerity? Exactly! I'll put in the effort and make sure the company prospers. It's a win-win for both of us. Please consider hiring me full-time. I'm sorry, but it's just not something I can do. Please, Rosie, I'm begging you. I don't have any other options, and I'm in a tight spot. I don't want to be homeless. You're my childhood friend, and I'm reaching out to you. Megan, there are plenty of job opportunities out there. Have you considered applying to another staffing agency for temporary work? I can't. Why? Because I'm blacklisted by all the agencies. I don't know why, but I've been having a hard time keeping a job lately. That's why I ended up working at the last agency at your company, and I had to leave that too. I'm stuck, Rosie. Can we move past our differences and help each other out? I think I know the reason why you can't stay employed at the same company for a long time. It's because you keep flirting and sleeping around with guys at each company, right? No? Where did you ever hear something like that? I've heard you've been, even been sleeping around with guys that have partners and wives. No wonder you have trouble staying employed. Wait, what? How do you know about something like that? My very capable subordinate did some research for me. Oh, wait, really? No matter where you go, you always cause trouble. And you keep losing your contract, right? Hey, didn't you say to me that I was so unprofessional and desperate for flirting with the guy sitting next to me? I am very surprised those words came out of the mouth of someone like you. Oh, wait, no, I, I didn't mean to say that. I also heard that during your time working for my company, you were flirting with your co-workers. Not just one guy, but multiple guys at the same time. Do you know what a workplace is for? Wait, what? You know all about that too? My subordinate is very, very good at his job. That's why. No way! This company is really important to me. I don't want to ruin our reputation by employing someone like you. So, for the sake of this company and me, please just give up and never contact me again. Wait, please give me one last chance. I won't flirt with any of the guys here, I promise. 
So please don't cut me off completely. I need the money, Rosie. I'm in debt and I can't afford to stay unemployed. Oh, drowning in debt, huh? How did that happen? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. Are you for real? When I ran away with Jake, we rented an apartment above my budget. When he left me, I was stuck with the rent and depleted my savings. To make matters worse, I got involved with a married man and things got out of hand, causing property damage. I had to borrow money to cover that too. Oh my god, that's quite a mess. No, but I'm trying to make amends. Please, Rosie, help me out. I'm really speechless. I guess people like you never learn their lesson. Please don't say stuff like that to me. We're childhood friends, remember? We've known each other for so long. Don't just give up on me. Just because we're childhood friends, it doesn't mean that I have any responsibility to save you. You kind of deserve what you have coming for you. Please just figure out your problems by yourself and leave me out of this. But the reason I'm in this mess is all your fault! You that I even met Jake! If it hadn't been for you flaunting him in my face all this time, none of this would have happened. No way. Did you just blame me f all of this on me? If it wasn't for that time, I wouldn't have lost all my savings. I wouldn't have gotten so stressed that I slept with a married man. It's all your fault. Yeah. Why don't you just keep on living like that? Blaming everything that happens to other people? If you really think that is going to solve all the problems that you're having... Oh, wait, wait! I didn't actually mean what I said. It's not your fault at all, Rosie. I'm sorry. It's all my fault, right? I get that now. Deep down, I know that it's all my fault. So please don't cut me out of your life. Oh, look. It's almost time for my meeting at work. Wait! Don't leave yet. We're still talking. I'm your childhood friend. Please help me. Well, please never, ever show up in front of me or contact me again. Goodbye. My childhood friend Megan never found work through a staffing agency again. She's currently a cashier at a local gas station, barely making ends meet. Later on, I heard from David that Megan was in debt to the tune of around $500,000. Her family has also distanced themselves from her because of her actions. I guess she's still holding me responsible for everything. Maybe someday she'll realize she needs to take charge of her own life.